Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, ever merciful. Respected Chairman, your worshipful Mayor of Bradford, Honorable Member of Parliament, Charity Representatives, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Peace be unto you with the mercy of Allah and his blessings. I take this opportunity, first and foremost, to extend a warm and personal welcome to you all in my capacity as president of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association. It is indeed with enormous pleasure that I stand here before you at the successful conclusion of what is our youth associations, one of our youth associations' flagship events. Though a lot of human endeavor and countless extracurricular man hours were invested in the organization of this event, ultimately, it is divine providence that has brought us to this juncture. In humble prostration of gratitude at his threshold, therefore, we proclaim the glory of Allah, we celebrate his praise, we affirm his unity, we invoke his blessings on his noble prophet. Today's event has been the culmination of months of planning and coordination by national and regional teams within a youth association. I would like to congratulate Mr. Yusuf Aftab, the regional president and the members of the host region, the Northeast Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association for delivering this event to such a high standard. They have been ably guided and assisted by my deputy, the event manager, Mr. Fahim Anwar, and the members of his organizing team who have been on hand to offer advice and direction at every stage. Our efforts, be they of the hundreds of volunteers you have seen on hand today, or the hundreds of our members who have made great efforts in raising donations and sponsorships over the last few weeks, have all been to fulfill a simple objective, to serve the cause of humanity by helping those in need. Since its inception in 1985, this annual event, which has now raised in excess of a million pounds for worthy causes, have, has evolved from a small affair to one where it is regarded as a major part of our youth association's annual program and as one of the key dates on its annual calendar. I should add that this event has a very close affinity with the city of Bradford, where, as part of the Ahmadiyya Muslim communities, centenary celebrations 20 years ago in 1989, our youth association under the then presidency of our current national Amir and chairman of this session, Mr. Rafiq Ahmed Hayat, held a cycle marathon in which the members of our youth association cycled more than 200 miles from Bradford to London for a number of, chari for a number of charities. In any initiative or program, there comes a watershed, a time when something takes place which transforms the nature of an event. I reflect upon this marathon in 1989 where walking became cycling and the speed of the foot was replaced by the power of the pedal as a watershed for this event as it saw a dramatic increase in the level of funds which were raised from it. So Amir Sahib, your legacy and high standards have provided us with a springboard for the high professionalism, dedicated enthusiasm, and charitable commitment we see before us here today. The charity event took a new dimension when, as part of the development of the Youth Association's members, it was decided that regions within the association should host the event. The first such event was in fact held here by the Northeast region, and this proved so successful that ever since, regions have taken an increasing role in the organization of the event. Indeed, on a personal note, I myself, in my tenure as regional president of one of the London regions 10 years ago, in 1999, had the honor of, host of hosting this event and organizing a marathon walk through London's Richmond Park. The charity challenge is but one aspect of a program of humanitarian activities which the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association undertakes on a regular basis headed 
by its own national department. Whether it is distributing chocolates and flowers to hospitals around Eid and the Christmas season, arranging blood donation sessions, offering support at events organized by other charities, or assisting international charities in providing relief to war-torn and disaster-impacted regions of the world. The Kidmat e Khalq Department, or Service to Humanity Department, has been tireless in its support of charitable and other worthwhile causes. Although we have been humble over the years to have our charitable achievements recognized by external bodies, most notably by Her Royal Highness Princess Anne for our work with Save the Children, and Leukemia Research, by whom we were awarded an Outstanding Contribution Award in 2005. Our members undertake these activities purely and simply for the sake of humanity, because it is a part of our faith. In Islam, service to humanity is regarded as a moral prerogative, a spiritual privilege, and above all, a religious duty. Most of those who took part in today's event did not do so with a desire to win a competitive race, but rather, rather with a sense of serving humanity and helping society, the ill, the frail, the disabled, the homeless, the destitute, the poor, the marginalized. To put it simply, to help those in need, irrespective of race, creed, color, or religion. This spirit emanates from our faith and from our desire to win the pleasure of Allah. For it is indeed the Holy Quran which declares, they feed for the love of him, the poor, the orphan, and the prisoner, saying, we feed you for Allah's pleasure only. We desire no thanks, no praise from you. Chapter 76, verses 9 and 10. The Holy Quran is replete with such verses which enjoin service to humanity upon Muslims and at the same time warn that their conduct should not be actuated by considerations of recipro reciprocity, recompense, or, rep or, rep or reputation. It is only fitting, therefore, that this year's event should be concluded on the site of this magnificent al Mahdi Mosque, a symbol of peace and a fitting backdrop to remind the participants of their duty to serve others for the sake of Allah. May I now avail myself of this opportunity to extend my heartfelt thanks to all our guests who have spared your precious time to be with us here today. I thank the Lord Mayor of Bradford for not only taking time out of a busy schedule to join us for this event, but also for, your con for his continued support of the efforts of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association in the region. We acknowledge the presence here of Godfrey Bloom, MEP, a longtime friend and supporter of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, and thank him for being with us here today again. In planning the route and preparing for the event, we drew invaluable assistance from the local council and the police, for which we are extremely grateful. I should also thank the many local businesses who have been cooperative and generous in their support and corporate, corporate sponsorships most notably Sovereign Healthcare, who made a handsome donation to this event. They are represented here today, amongst others, by the Chief Executive, Mr. David Lewis. We are grateful to BBC TV, Sunrise Radio, Pulse Radio, and Real Radio for being with us here today, and especially for the coverage the Charity Challenge has received through their respective media.